I'm Matis Nitschke from Salomony. I'm the product specialist for Capstan. You remember this tape? Long time ago. Those old tapes can have all kinds of problems because of bad archiving, bad transfers. And one problem which wasn't correctable so far is pitch. You also know this as wow and flutter. Listen to this. You've heard something like that before, didn't you? It's not only on tape, it's also on records, on music cassettes, or on those ancient media like wire or wax. And now, with Capstan there's a software solution to cure this problem. It's based on the musical intelligence of the patented Melodyne DNA technology. Listen to what it's doing. In the background you see the result of the Capstan analysis. Pitches are going up and down, and based on the musical content in the file, Capstan finds this blue curve that represents the varying tape speed caused by wow and flutter. Upon playback, Capstan digitally speeds up and down reciprocal to the analysis. You can modify and fine-tune the speed curve with dedicated tools. In case you wonder how the music sounded without Capstan, switch back to original. And back to processed. That was rather easy, wasn't it? Let's take a different example and I'll show you step by step how it works. First, load a sound file. Upon loading, the analysis takes place. When this is done, the speed curve is displayed. In this example, the curve is rather periodic. This uh, would be typical for an old shellac record, where the hole isn't centered perfectly. I quickly check how the original sounds. And without any edits taken by me so far, Capstan delivers this result. This solo passage is a little bit tricky. In most cases, Capstan knows the difference between the pitch deviations generated by the tape and the intentional vibrator of the performer. In rare cases like this solo passage, one should help Capstan a little bit. When a melodic instrument is playing solo, Capstan takes the vibrato as the dominant pitch fluctuation and tries to correct it. One could try to reduce the intensity of the process here, which is adjusted with this curve up here. See how the speed curve changes while I'm dragging the upper intensity curve? But with this violin example the result isn't satisfying yet, since with lower intensity we hear the original tape again. In this example, I would rather go for a different solution, using the smoothing curve. See how it filters out the faster movement of the vibrato? Once the vibrato isn't taken anymore for the correction process, what's left here is the actual wow of the tape, leaving the vibrato untouched. When to compare it to the original? So far we listened to what is called WOW. Flatter is a faster variation of the same problem. It sounds more in the range of a natural vibrato, but still, Capstan knows the difference. Another recording in its original state. C 
see what Capstone makes out of it. Okay, here are very obvious problems. In the spectral background view you have small white lines representing the pitch movement. One line for each semitone. At this dramatic spot the pitch drops more than a semitone. As Capstone always goes for the closest semitone, there are jumps in the speed curve, which in such case need to be added manually. First select this part. The borders snap to logical places. Just drag the curve one semitone down. Now extend the range like this and drag again. That's nearly perfect, a tiny spike remains. Quickly draw it out. Listen back. How was that before? Okay, back to the processed version. Well, let's go back to our flutter problem. The sound, even in the processed version, is still a little bit shaky. Let's try smoothing the speed curve. The correction itself is done through straightforward vary speed, controlled by the wow curve. No pitch shifting, no time stretching, no artifacts. Now let me show you how you control the desired pitch and duration of your file. Changing the speed obviously changes both the tuning and the duration of a recording. By default, Capstone calculates the average pitch of the whole sound file. That's why the processed sound file has the same length as the original file. But that's not always what you want. For example, if you know that the original performance was done to a specific standard pitch, you simply type it in. This will of course change the length. If, on the other hand, you're working with film, you might want to match the duration to your picture. To do this, just type in the desired length and Capstone will calculate the proper pitch for you. Are you curious how this music cassette sounded originally? <laughs> Better switch back to processed. Capstan is a standalone software which will run on any current 64 bit Windows or Mac computer. It processes every sound file with bit rates between 16 and 32 bit and sample rates up to 192 kHz. To check if Capstone helps you on your specific restoration project, please download the demo version from the Salomony website. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching. Bye.